go to Claude, go to your settings, go to connectors and in connectors, add a custom connector, name it, go to docs.firecrawl.dev slash MCP dash server, copy the remote hosted URL into remote MCP server URL, and then you copy your API key and then you're set. Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you over some coffee in Claude, how to connect Claude with Firecrawl to get more relevant data from the companies, the clients, the products, and the services that you're building using Firecrawl and their web data API directly with Claude through their MCP so that you can power up your search when you're using Claude. If you're not familiar with Firecrawl, head on over to firecrawl.dev, check out their website, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can turn websites into LLM-ready data. You can power apps with Firecrawl from any website. It's open source. It can do a whole lot. And you can connect it directly inside of your Claude account to give entirely new superpowers to Claude's capabilities of searching and finding actual data that you're looking for using Firecrawl. I'm going to show you how right now. So if you're not familiar with Model Context Protocol, MCP, I would recommend doing a quick Google search. I'll link it in the video here below just to catch yourself up on what it means. It's basically a way to connect apps, to communicate with apps and using Claude as the communication factor. So what I am going to do is go to my settings. First and foremost, go in and select connectors. And you'll see when I have connectors set, I have Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar, GitHub, Notion, then have Zapier. So... All of these connectors outside of the Zapier MCP server I set up here, um, all of these are, are natively integrated inside of Claude as of right now, but there are thousands of other products you can connect to via MCP inside of Claude that might not have a native connector. You can use Zapier MCP to connect to most of these apps, but then you end up running up your Zapier usage bill, which can get expensive pretty fast. So what I've done is set up my Firecrawl MCP server inside of Claude. So basically giving Claude a tool to use Firecrawl. And to do that, all you need to do is configure it. And when you click configure and you've already set it up, It'll give you access to a number of these different tool permissions. You can select allow, needs approval, blocked. But how do we even get it configured in the first case? And if you're not in techie or anything like that, this can seem a little bit confusing or where do I start here? It's quite simple. And the easiest way that I found to go and do this was literally Google searching. How do I find a Firecrawl's MCP URL? and then adding my API to it. And so what you want, need to do is put your remote MCP server URL here. Um, there are these advanced settings, which I haven't needed to get into for getting mine set up, but this remote MCP server URL is basically like the main URL that Firecall will have. And what you need to do is set up a MCP server URL with Firecrawl with your API at the end of it, and then adding that to the MCP tool to add that connector. So Google search Firecrawl MCP URL, Firecrawl MCP server. So we can see here, I'll just link this page directly to in the document. Installation for here, literally just follow this step for step. It, it's very simple. Remote hosting URL is what you want. mcp.firecrawl.dev. And then you see the brackets Firecrawl API key slash v2 slash mcp at some point they may say hey we've updated this to v3 and you may need to change it but for now this is all you need to do is you need to copy this url here and then what you will do is you'll simply log in to your firecrawl account you can create an account for free and front and center on your overview is going to be the api key so what you'll do i'm not going to obviously show the key but you would just copy the key and then you would paste it here and click add that's pretty much it i tried to add it it said that the server already existed so it wouldn't duplicate the server which is fine with me but it's literally as simple as that you go to Claude, you go to your settings, you go to connectors and in connectors, you add a custom connector, you name it, firecrawl or whatever you want. You go to docs.firecrawl.dev slash MCP dash server. You copy the remote hosted URL into your remote MCP 
server URL, and then you copy your API key over where the crawl API key is, and then you're set. And once you do that, you are able to use it whenever you're executing skills or recipes or prompts, and you can track your usage directly inside of Firecrawl. You can see I've used about 44% of my usage of my 500 credits available this month. You can see how the credits are being pulled. You can see the activity log of how it's scraping uh, websites and doing research like that. And overall, I found it to be Overall, I found this to be like giving a superpower to Claude in the form of web research and scraping websites and getting actual relevant data for what I'm looking for. I've been using it for building lists and documents and research around events that we're going to be reaching out to vendors, reaching out to community leaders, reaching out to influencers, doing all sorts of targeted outreach and it is using Firecrawl to go and scrape and find and source this information. And it's that simple to get it set up and working inside of your Claude account. So I hope you find this useful. If you did like subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.